you're ready. It's time for the last part. Let's go! Spousers and lazy bits. Useless, especially if you're doing a no coin challenge. Ooh. I would watch out if I were you. Oh, 
Well. You can get that. I can get it with your help. Is that water thingy anyway? Acid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should keep it on your mouth, I guess. Yeah, Here's the wonder seed, seed, baby. platforming sense either. <laughs> Come on, this is the final stretch. Jump. Oh, no, are you quiet? No, don't steal my outfit again. should be able to hear it. There's a <laughs> sound that happens. Mm -hmm. I'm almost convinced you've destroyed that controller by now with how hard you're pressing. That's the only possible explanation. No. How hard is it to hold down instead of downright? Comes final stage. Let's go. Oh, you made it through the knuckle fest. Impressive. Don't look so happy. That was just the opening act. The rock and beat of the main event is going to echo across the world. No, throughout the universe. No one will be able to resist it. Heads will bob, feet will tap. They won't be able to stop. Truly captive audience. And now it's time for the epic. Yes, the epic wonder I've been preparing. Meet your eyes on. Bowser's Rage Stage! It sounds like a Kaizo Mario level. All audience members, please make your way to the main stage. I guess we're the 
the audience. Five stars. First stage and a violet star. Lol. I doubt this is actually five stars. I like the purple though. You're a BTS fan. Purple. I just like purple. Robin. Ashley. Is that the purple guy? Bakit wala ang character na purple? Kasi yun sa what do you mean the main villain in FNAF in Five Nights at Freddy's is literally purple? Um, do you remember Five Nights at Freddy's? No. The pizza guy. Why is it you again? Ah, you made it here, huh? What? That it matters. I'm done playing with you. I've got a front row ticket to Dad's big show. And you're not gonna ruin that for me. Now you get to see how big and that bad I really am. You first, I guess. Time for my super cool, duper, extra cool wonder. He's gonna get punched. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, it's just, it's still fists in the end. It's an auto scroller, truly a five star difficulty stage. Watch out. Just said watch out and you went ahead and got hit. Take it. Oh, that's an insta kill. Everything is here, huh? Everything we've experienced so far. I remember these pulls, I remember those enemies, I remember the dragon. That's a Bowser statue, are we gonna have to run away from it? Jump! It's the piranha plant that's sitting. Oh, 
and Kingu. That sings. Remember, don't look away or else he'll be slower. Don't look his way. sense it's 60 bpm mom it goes oops 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 yep don't worry it'll fix itself i'm explaining that's why <laughs> i'm speed wagon now Sorry for the wait! Are you ready to lose yourself in the sweet bait? This finale will make the entire universe my captive audience. Bowser Rage Stage! Hit it! You don't need to. Jump with the B. I think. Yeah. You get it? Hit those arms. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> Shit. Jump. Fuck too early. Wow, my, I have no reason for this time. There. My opponent is musically amazing. Come on, you can do it. Jump with the ribbon. Watch out, fireballs. You're gonna probably need to jump. Yep. Ooh, oh. You're getting it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't get it. Balloon. <laughs> Why, you can sing along? Toho. Ah. 
Come on, handle those arms. Dang it, fine. If you jump with the rhythm, you can do it. Dang it, we need to kill them quick or else they just regenerate. Jump! Ba, ba, jump! One, two, three, jump! One, two, three, jump! One, it alternates. Two, three, jump! One, two, three, jump! Oh! One, two, three, jump! 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 Jump! One, two, three, jump! Oh boy. Uh. Yeah, it's just like it's just like a salt baker. He telegraphs his attacks. Jump! In the background, I lost my double bar. Oh boy, it's four now. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. No. One, two, three, jump. Jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Alright, it's slightly faster yeah. than 60 BPM. But it alternates between the red and blue. Alright, watch out for balls. I believe those are still instant death. <laughs> I got it. Alright, they're not instant death at least. Get it. Three, jump! Be one more face. Today is close to cracking. Ah, oh. all right. So last time, we got this. Bowser. I don't know. Who cares? Look at Prince Florian. Wow. Yan lang ba yung mga namulit ng ginaan? Oh, 
up another. How strange. Normally a Mario game should have eight worlds. Not the same in The credits are playable. It always is for the 2D games. What is wrong with them? It's a one star difficulty at best, I'd wager. Tapos niya to, ano tayo? Ooh. Aro aro kang. Yeah. So, what do you think of the game? When the game got first got announced, everyone was hyped. I was hyped. And now that I've finally played the game and got to see it and like and all that stuff, people were gonna say this was gonna be the reinvigoration of 2D Mario. 2D Mario so far has been getting really stale last play with the latest with the latest game before this being Super Mario. For the Wii U, the new Hello. Super Mario. Not naman ng Super Mario games. Ano? Not to say they were getting stale, but that wasn't to say that they were bad. They were stale and repetitive, but they embodied the fundamentals of game design through a T. Their video game perfected, not original, but perfection. And I gotta say. Mario Wonder to me is pretty much just more of the same thing. The amount of times I was able to predict the things that were gonna happen and stuff. Not to be... Not to be all negative and stuff. You're the king, actually. All of the wonder powers we've got gotten so far. I mean, the wonders. Yeah, I did it. Ano they are natin sort natin of natin the ano? thing where there was sort of an unpredictability factor to them of some kind. Pero parang feeling mo na pagdaliyong version natin Mario. Easy. The difficulty isn't the fa the problem for me here. I don't care if Mario is hard or easy or whatever. What matters was that it lived up to my expectations. According to people, according to everyone else who's played this game, it did meet their expectations. It was a new, unique, and original game. But to me, this really does just feel like your standard 2D Mario. Just 
with the wonder flower making things a little unpredictable at times but at the same time it's still very formulaic there's still the flag pole at the end i mean there's no timer anymore that's pretty neat for the stages and stuff but for the most part it was still very formulaic for me like the amount of times i predicted where power-ups would be and the finish line and the I mean, the gimmicks, uh, at least, are kind of original. Mm -hmm. People say a lot of the things were inspired by Mario Maker. Uh, and yeah, some, the wonder effects were all very fun. Fun and fantastic. Fantastic! Like the piranha plant thing, and all of the music-based things they keep adding in. The originality is there, there is indeed still some originality, but it still feels too formulaic for me. Pero yung uniqueness niya, like yung nilaro natin yung nakaraan, parang nakukulangan ako. Parang very fair lang siya. You feel it too? And very minimal. And you're not like me where you're all pessimistic because you've already played every Mario game. Yeah. Pero ito, masasabi ko na ano siya, very minimal lang. Ano ay nilaro natin na maraming island? May snow, may forest, may water. Ah, Super Mario Odyssey. Yun, talaga wala ka tayo dun. Yeah, the 3D games still definitely are the ones where they put in the most unique and creative mm -hmm. ideas. Which is not changed. All the budget gigs, ano, binigay dun. There's really nothing stopping them from putting in all that creative efforts into 2D Mario as well, but... What do I know? At, at the end of the day, I seem to be the only one who thinks this way, who thinks negatively this way. Everyone else thinks the game's a banger. And who am I to stop their fun Hello, with my fresh, stupid negative siya. criticisms? Although I, we didn't get to play too much as Mario, it is a bit sad that he, uh, he's no longer voiced by Charles Martinet. <laughs> but hey, it is a positive. I, I like I like the new Mario voice. Diba ito yung pinaka-recent? Kailan na-release yan? Two months ago. Mati lang? Ginili mo yung game na yan? Hmm? Uh, like I said, I... So I could emulate it because I don't have a capture card. <laughs> Also, I said we weren't supposed to talk about this. <laughs> now the Nintendo ninjas are gonna get us. We all lived happily ever after. Yeah, it's good. Oh, and I guess the talking flower. What do you think You're of the talking flower? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing either. I don't think it's a middle it's thing. Sorry. It's just, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. And I have no real opinion of it. It's just a thing. Parang you think na the talking flower is no good na? No, I, like I said, I don't mind its existence. It's just... Mm. I mean, I guess it's new. <laughs> Pero kumbaga, new flavor to ni Mario eh. It's a new flavor. According to some people, though, they really didn't like... They really didn't like the talking flower because his voice was annoying or something. No. Some of them apparently changed the voice to Japanese, which cringe. First Ako of lahat, all. lahat ng character, I love it. But second. Ah. Wait, okay, kubaket. Inyan. Huh? Bakit ano? Secondly, the Japanese dub still also sounds annoyingly cringe. It's a, it, I think it's some sort of language bias, honestly. When it comes to foreign languages, since we have no criteria of standards, we tend to think more positively. Like, how, how many times have you heard people talking in French and be like, 
Wow, they sound so romantic when in reality they're like shouting slurs at each other, probably. Because uh, uh, it reminds me of Genshin Impact, where their uh, 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 Hu Tao's voice lines really infuriate me. Uh, Toru says I should switch to Japanese because she sounds better there. And honestly, uh, Silly uh, Churl, Billy Churl sounds terrible across all languages for me. And yeah, I'm coining that term now. Language bias. But uh, yeah. I I mean, I guess that's it. That's all I really have to say. I mean, uh, it's a game I don't really have much to say about. Cause again, it it achieves the two D Mario fundamentals really well. It's game design at its finest. Yeah. Uh, so game design, one million percent. It's good. It's great. Give it a rating out of ten, man. It's one million. I said. Okay. Look at all the budget. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the graphics and the music. That is indeed the best part of the game for me. The presentation, mm -hmm. uh, all the animations. They're three D, but like they, they're so stylized. They. Uh, if you haven't watched it, they remi it reminds me a lot of Puss in Boots with the animation where it, they're 3D but they're still animated like 2D and that's great. Plus, uh, again, presentation-wise, there's the music. Uh, gotta love the music in this game. I love that the music is incorporated even more heavily in this game than in the previous Mario games. In the previous 2D Mario games, of the soundtrack has this ba ba, and everyone always reacts to that. And here, though, there's all sorts of things, music influences, and it ch makes you have Original to act to it as well. Obviously, but, like the the music stages, like Piranha Plants on Parade and the King Boo's Haunt, and the final mm -hmm. stage being you know, music themed as well. Because I music. I fucking love music, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this game makes you makes you pay attention to the music, and that's great. It uh, finally I am rewarded for listening to music, and the fact that the final boss has you listening to music so that you can jump to the beat and beat, the, and that's how you're supposed to. You beat to the beat. Considering how old the game is by now, there is plenty of videos I've watched and it was impossible to avoid spoilers. Specifically, the one I was spoiled the most of is this stage, which is a little sad. I would have loved to experience this for myself. But it was pretty obvious. To, like, I, game design and stuff. Like, have you noticed how they always, when they introduce new mechanics, they always introduce it in a safe place and you get to learn it? Who, like before the fight, before we got to beat the final boss, you saw, you noticed that the little section, right, where there's like four flowers. They're like one, two, three, jump, oh, and you literally can't go forward unless you learn how to jump with the beat. And that's basically them teaching you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, because that's game design in a nutshell, and that's like really great. What can you say about my? Play. Mm. You were tolerable. I hate how when I introduced you to Yoshi, though, you just kept playing as Yoshi easy <laughs> mode and never looked back. <laughs> that's, the that's the reason why I made you pick <laughs> as everyone except for Yoshi, the Yoshis and Nabbits because I knew when you got introduced to the easy mode, you'd just keep picking it. But I decided at one point I should introduce you to it. Maybe, maybe you'll just try it out once and then you'll go back to being normal. But nope, you're a sissy baby. <laughs> uh, as for me, I give this uh, rating out of 10 a flagpole out of 10. They hit the flagpole, they didn't just hit it, they hit it at the top. But at the end of the day, it's the same flagpole we've been through many times. We will go through many more times and have been going through since the beginning. That's the since the first Mario. Super Mario game. 
Not to say that that's bad. It's a, it's a. Siguro kung babalik kami yung Mario One, easy peasy na sa yung. No. The first Mario game is definitely the hardest. Nilaroon kaya natin. Sure, wanna see? Mario 3. Kaya ako talaga gusto ko sa lahat Mario 3. Wanna see if we speedrun it? Nah, the the next game I want us to play is a horror game. Well, there's two horror games I want to play specifically. Uh, so, uh, I'll let you decide. And I guess I'll keep recording so everyone knows what we're playing next. So, uh... So, the two guys. games I have named... For the Mario game? So, one... The, the, uh, the two choices goes like this. One choice is a game I've already played and therefore I want you to be the one to play it. And the other game is a game I haven't played yet. Uh, so, I'll be the one to play it since I want to play it for myself and you're just gonna watch. They're single player, sadly. I don't have any more multiplayer games to play for now. Teka lang, huwag mong sabihin ko ano yung maglalaro ako at hindi ako maglalaro. Gusto kong mamili between. I-differentiate mo yung dalawa. Sabihin mo kung one or two, ah. Eh? Teka lang. Gusto ko kasi yung... Mala, ano, mala Resident Evil. Alin doon? Huwag mo sasabihin na yung ako maglalaro or ikaw maglalaro, ah. Ah, uh, yeah, that is the one who that uh, that is one of the games that I want to play. Yeah, it's not Resident Evil, but it's very much inspired by Resident Evil in oh, many ways. Like... Right then, I guess that's what we're playing. No, no, and so I've been avoiding spoilers so far, thankfully. <laughs> okay. Bago lang yun. It's a new game. It's quite old now. I've been meaning to play it for a while now. <laughs> What's the name the of the game is Signalis. It's a future sci it's a future dystopian cyber world uh, where you play as a robot and your everything is confusing and there's zombies. And oh, so zombie zombie. You're Isn't trapped in, you're trapped in a mansion and you got to go collect keys. Basically it's like classic Re it's like the first Resident Evil game. Oh, All right, I guess that's what we're playing next then. See y'all next time. Bye guys. Oh my god, I hope that was all being recorded properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.